What is up, Wolfpack? Hello. Welcome to the Tuesday vlog update, where I actually have things to talk about because I was at an event this last weekend. Uh, and also, we're actually recording this on Tuesday because, first of all, I was really, really tired on Monday, but also because, as you may be able to hear in the background every once in a while, they're doing roofing on the building next to me, and I can't wait till they get to this building. And that means I can't do my day job right now because of uh, they have a zero tolerance noise policy, which makes sense. Um, so it's just going to be a rough uh, week in terms of that. I had a fantastic time at Ponyville Cider Fest. It was great. I left Friday really, really early at 2 a.m. to get to Philadelphia Airport, fly out, and go to Chicago, had to wait for Travis Odyssey Eurobeat there for a few hours before I actually got driven back down to Mil uh, up to Milwaukee, excuse me, so that way we I could actually attend the convention. And Friday was cool, I didn't really have anything going on, I just talked about multiband compression, which there'll be a link to the video somebody took of me just ranting about multiband compression in the description below. And also, I will be you know, just didn't do anything. I got this really cool horn that I don't have on me right the second uh, for drinking out of, and I did drink. <laughs> uh, I actually spent the least amount I've ever spent on uh, alcoholic beverages this last uh, this last time, but you know, still did. And uh, th that was the first night. That was Friday night. I didn't have much going on. I just chilled out and conked out and went to sleep. Second day which was Saturday, was amazing. Um, I didn't actually sell anything on Friday, but I set up, sold, a bunch of people came up and bought all of my CDs, which is fantastic. I actually left the con without any left of Our Best Hope, which is really cool, actually, and just made me feel really good. I only brought about 10, um, and it actually looks like I estimated how much CDs I needed, relatively speaking, because I didn't really get anybody else coming up after, you know, all was said and done. But so Friday, Saturday was amazing. The sound check went great. The room sounded fantastic. And holy cow, that is one of the top three, not counting brony cons, because those are like a different story, but top three performances in a, the convention circuit that I've ever had. And there was a mosh pit. Everybody screamed back. And everybody, everybody that night was just tight. The Wonderbolts band were an amazingly tight group together. Forrest Rain performed, did a great job. She was amazing. And of course, heckled me and back and forth. And it was just, it was fantastic. I can't stress that enough. I mean, the energy level in that room was high from when we started at 7 o'clock with the shakeups to when we ended with uh, Stretch Attack and Technical Ted, I believe. No, no, Technical Ted wasn't Friday. So it was just, it was a great performance. Like, I, you know, I moshed and I did a Jaeger bomb with the dude afterwards. I set up right afterwards and was able to just sell my CDs. And, um, and people, you know, people really appreciated that. And it was, it was pretty fantastic. I can't really emphasize enough how amazing that performance was. And it reminded me why I do it is because I get such awesome adrenaline rushes from just performing in front of people. So I hope that at some point, because uh, I'm going to keep doing this, and even if it's because you want to check out my other band and I perform with you in front uh, as part of Way Down Whalers, not as Cyril the Wolf, I just would love to meet every single one of you part of the Wolf Pack in, in that situation because there's nothing more intense to me than me just playing music and everybody just as a human group just jamming along and, and getting into it and having a great time. So that was day two of Cider Fest and naturally I had purchased another six pack of Moon Man uh, which is Wisconsin only fantastic beer and you know drink a lot. And then uh, Sunday came along I didn't sleep of course but Sunday was Pretty low key, actually, because I had sold most of my CDs. I just had to get another one or two um, gone. Somebody actually bought a set of download codes to support me. Thank you very much. And I just wanted to like let you know how great a time I had. Um, there might be footage that gets uploaded as time goes on, but for now, it's just it was just a joy to be able to go to this. And you know, not everything has to be a huge hullabaloo. I mean, I left you know for Friday morning, which is not something. That I normally do. I normally take the whole weekend, but I don't have time to let up. Uh, it's gonna be 
Rotting of the Leaves Con coming up here soon. I actually got some great advice as to, because I'm probably going to stop for until I get a better setup anyway. I'm going to move away from doing the me performing videos because I just, I don't have the ability right now to do a proper like recording setup where you can actually just like where it looks decent. Um, I mean, aside from the towels everywhere, even it's just, you know, I would like to get those guys closer to me and everything else. The other thing is, I think I've got actually got a couple of t-shirt ideas that I'm going to be putting out there to see what y'all think, because it may be something that makes sense and I might do it as a campaign. So if you stuck around for this whole video, in the comments section below, please just let me know if you would be interested in doing a t-shirt campaign with me and pre-ordering some new t-shirts. It won't be the CW Serial the Wolf t-shirts. Um, there'd be a couple different designs and I'll have more information. I just want to get a, like a test the waters real quick because it'd be a great way to support me and uh, also get a cool t-shirt. So. Thanks very much, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your week.